What's up gamers out there? So the first wave of PS5 accessories has been sent out and I got one of my accessories already, which I think is the media remote from amazon.com. I got my stuff scattered around. I got my accessories coming from Amazon, amazon.com. I got two games coming from uh, Walmart and I got my console coming from Best Buys. <laughs> so what I was planning on doing originally was uh, unbox all my accessories all together. But I thought, you know what? Me waiting is just cost me subscribers and views and stuff like that. I might as well unbox each, each accessory as it comes and put out the video and stuff and give you guys my reactions to it because all these other vendors like IGN and shit be getting the stuff and unboxing it. So my turn. Oh, I almost cut. I think I cut my damn uh, <laughs> remote. Got the Disney Plus, Netflix, YouTube, which I'll be using the Netflix and the YouTube. So let's go ahead and flip it over to the back, read the back of it before I pop this bad boy open. It says, entertainment at the push of a button. Conveniently control entertainment on your PS5 console with, with an intuitive layout, okay? Navigate your entertainment. Control streaming apps on your PS5 console and the volume and power settings of compatible TVs. Okay, boom. So that's what the volume and stuff is for. It can actually control the TV. I was wondering about that. If it's actually the console, headphones and stuff, up and down volume, or if it's the TV. So it actually is the TV. That's good. Well, either way, either way it went, it would have been good. All right. Dedicated app buttons. Quickly access four popular entertainment apps. All right. So comes with two batteries. All right, so hopefully I wasn't recording for too long without my good audio. But yeah, man, so let's go ahead and get to the remote. And here it is, you know. It's not glossy or nothing. The black on here, the actually no, the black one here is glossy. Oh, so that's actually a button, okay. PlayStation button. So I'm guessing how to pop this open. I'm not gonna look at the directions, but I'm gonna assume that it's the same way. If if Sony is clever, it's the same way, like the uh, console uh, side flap. So I'm gonna lift this up. Nope. I was thinking like you probably pop that up and then slide it. So you kind of push that little black flap, and then it kind of like slides open. The whole shell slides off, I like that. You know, it kind of represents and kind of complements the design of the console when you slide the little side fenders off. So they got it uh, electronically configured to where you place the batteries all, are you both the same way, like that. Then after that, boom. So yeah, feels way better with the batteries inside there. The back is kind of like textured, so it gives like a little bit of roughness to it. So it won't be too smooth to slip out your hand and stuff like that. And I like that. Uh, from what I heard, you can turn the console on with this. So let's say I was planning on just to go to YouTube and not really do too much except for just watching YouTube, which I do a lot. So when I get home from work, it's going to be amazing. Just come home, bam, turn my console on. TV, I got a Sony Bravia TV. So I'm going to see if this works with my TV right now. You know, turn the TV on, boom. Um, bam, pop on U YouTube. Scroll left, right through YouTube and stuff like that. But I have to turn my controller on. Keep my controller on the, on the charging station, which I also got coming in. And also the camera coming in from Amazon as well. And like I said, I got my console coming in from Best Buys and then I got two games coming in from Walmart. If it was up to me, if everything would've went my my way, all my stuff would've came from Walmart because I worked there. I would've got all my stuff at discount. Here we are in my lovely room. And here's my Sony TV right there next to my Xbox One X and got the PS4 right there. Down below got the PS3 uh, and PS2. So let's go ahead and first start it off by pressing the TV. See if that's going to just turn it on, just on the fly. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I love about Sony stuff and uh, Apple. Like they stuff just automatically talk to each other without to download no firmware or nothing. It just, it just works. So I'm gonna see if I can control stuff with this, you know, with this remote. So for now, I'll turn on the TV and stuff like that. See if it turns up and down the volume. Yep, it does. Up and down the volume, it automatically works. Okay, actually I'm turning it up. Just not got my headphones. I'm used to having my TV turned down. I always got my headphones on. Nope, so it's not compatible with this uh, PlayStation. I can also try something else. 
So I'm glad I made this its own video. If I go into the settings. Devices, chores, keyboard, faces and camera. Um, and press this uh, button on this. Nope, nothing's popping up. We know that the volume buttons work with the TV. Um, the mute button, that works. Okay, mute, boom. So that's gonna do it for this quick video. Um, what I'm planning on doing is putting my uh, PS4 probably next to my stand on the, on the right side right there. Stand it up for right now. It's not gonna fit right here on top of here unless I lay it down flat, which I don't want to. I want it to stand up like a tower, so I'm gonna move that fan probably. And um, you know, go from there. Boom, save the powers off. Yep, boom. My PS3 turns on the TV. I think that's the only console that turns on the TV when you turn it on. Mm -hmm.